No McStay, O'Neill or Stubbs in the Celtic huddle yesterday, but Van Hooydonk started this match and a tremendous free kick from him there came off Stephen Wood's crossbar. Then the opening goal, De Canio's free kick, Van Hooydonk goes down, a push from van der Gag says the referee, and that's a penalty kick. De Canio made it look easy. Celtic one up. And then Van Hooydonk got the second, De Canio's cross, a tremendous leap, and it's 2-0 Celtic. This is what he does so well, the back post header and Celtic cruising. But they didn't go three up until late on in the second half. Cadet scored it. A good finish from the Portuguese striker. McNamara had picked him out well inside the box and Celtic three ahead. And very quickly after that, four ahead. Cadet flicked it on, Van Hooydonk picked him out and the tap in to make it four. Cadet getting over the disappointment of that disallowed goal at Ibrox. A good performance from him. And one minute after that, the all-foreigner show continued. This time, Vighorst buried it. 5-0 Celtic. A great way to get over that Ibrox result. A bad day for Motherwell. Very pleasing, Jim. You know, because of the, the bitter disappointment the other night. Uh, but you know, we tried to build on the positive things the other night. You know, the fact that they played so well in the game, played so very well in the game. And that's the one thing we told them, that uh, you know, they're getting better and better. And they've got to have that belief that they can come back for disappointments and go and play in a, you know, a very important game for us today. You know, the supporters are going to come today and obviously we've got to go and stimulate them. We've got to go and let them see that they'll be, we're all disappointed but we've still got a job to do. And I think the players done that very well today.